Hey, what up guys? It's Brandon here. Welcome back to some more Super Mario 3D World. So in the last episode, we basically finished off World 3 here. Um, I believe, yeah, we were almost done with the world. Um, we had to go and pretty much, uh, we took care of most of this. We, um, we went to the Toad House to get ourselves, um, the cat suit because we had to go and pretty much get, um, get the first and last, th um, the first and last green stars. First and third green stars, I meant to say. At Mount Mustache, my favorite level of World 3 right here. Because on um, the last green star, you pretty much have no choice but to use the cat suit, it feels like. So, I don't know. But, after that, we basically went on to the castle, rescued the third Spritzy Princess at the Bullet Bill Express. So, we had to, like, take the train and all that, so. It's always pretty cool, I always like that. But, you think that, that that would be it after being World 3, right? Well, I, well we pretty much had to go and... Um, yeah, we had to go and fight Histocrat. We, we got stopped here at 3-B to go and fight Histocrat. Um... This, like, big dinosaur that comes out of the ground and all that. It's one of my favorite boss battles in the entire game. Or may maybe it is my favorite boss battle. I don't know. Or, no, actually, I think that would be the final boss. Yeah, I think it's the final boss. But pretty much after that, we took care of most of World 4. World 4-1, Ant Trooper Hill. We did that. And um, we did this level, which kind of... Uh, does, it doesn't really frustrate me too much. But we're going to run into a level like this again in the special world. And it's going to really make my blood boil. Prana Creeper Creek. Yeah, Prana Creep, Creeper Creek. We had to go and deal with this um, boulder, boulder blockade. We're going to run into these guys in the castle, by the way. Since we're almost done with World 4 here. Um, this is my favorite. Probably my favorite level. Yeah, my favorite level of World 4 right here. Beat Block Skyway. I like that level. And then we, we just got done with this level at the end of the episode. Yeah, big bounce by the way. So. But, um, yeah. So, we took care of most of that. Um, all we have left to do here is basically... Well, right here we got to go and do on um, the Mystery House... Which, um, I think it's called Mystery House Mad Dash. Yeah, Mystery House Mad Dash. So we're going to do that, and then we're going to do my least favorite level of World 4 right here. Alright, I, I, I kind of wish I didn't have to go in these pipes, go in and out of these pipes like that, because it takes forever. But this is my least favorite level right here, of course. Spike's Lost City. I, I hate this level, I really do. I'm not looking forward to it this episode. So in this episode, we're going to go and finish off World 4. And we'll do most, hopefully, um, I guess most of World 5. We'll see how much we could get done in World 5. But for now, let's go and begin here at Mystery House Mad Dash. Hopefully, we do not get Peach for this because uh, this is like a, um, of course, this is where you need fast. Mm, of course. Of course, you gotta give me Peach. All right, whatever. All right, well, let's do this. Because this is all about um being fast, of course. You have to reach the goal within a time limit. But of course, they had to give me Peach. Look how slow she is. Sucks. Oh well. Man, it would have been awesome if it. Look how. Oh my gosh, she's so slow. She feels slower than usual. What the hell? It's weird. Oh man. We might have some rage right off the bat in this episode, but I never. I haven't even had much rage yet in this playthrough yet, so. But this is where the game's gonna start to get hard, like, after this. But, um. Yeah, I always like that part with the bonsai bill. Oh man, I gotta deal with all these spike guys too. Oh yeah, get out of here. Alright, gotta hurry. I can't even... It's like I can't even like, um, do the pounce attack to make me go faster. It's like I have to like, do long jumps instead. It feels like I have to just do long jumps. That's what it feels like. Yeah, because of course the pouncing, it's like it just stops you. Alright, thank god they give you the boost here. And, there we go. Sometimes I can over jump that, which sucks. Oh, I, I always like this right here. <clears throat> Hey, this one's not all too bad, though. This is always pretty easy for me. Pretty simple. Alright, got some Goombas here. This this is kind of annoying, because they always have to... Look at this! Come on, I, I could swear I attacked you. Alright, we gotta hurry now. And you got these tiny Goombas, too. Alright, well, of course, lost the damn, um... Cat suit. Now we gotta deal with these Cat Bullet Bills. Alright, there we go. Just gotta, you just gotta keep moving, though. That's, that's all it is. You just gotta keep moving, and then you're good. Oh crap, I always hate this one too a little bit. Alright. Yeah, we're about to we, we we about to deal with those guys in the next level though, of course. It's gonna suck. I'm not looking forward to it though, but it has to be done. Alright, but at least we got that taken care of. Got ten green stars from that. Because you guys remember the first time we did this, we got five green stars. Now because they're gonna keep um they're gonna keep um, you know, Increasing the amount of green stars you need it like there's like the last one we're gonna be doing has I think you need 30 of these you need 30 green stars and it's, it's gonna be it's the toughest one. It really is Like I'm, I'm not looking forward to that. So All right, but after that um 
took care of all that. So all we have left, I think it is. Oh no, we gotta do four dash B, and you'll see what four dash B is. It's located in this pipe. I forgot. I forgot to mention this. So we have to go in this pipe here. Um, I guess we'll do it now. But look at this. So here we have Fire Bros. Um, you, you'll see. But we got all these coins here, and then right over here is supposed to be a Toad House. But we have to go and deal with this Fire Bro first. So here it is, Fire Bros Hideout number one. Because there's a there's like a whole series of this. I think there's four Fire Bros Hideouts. So here's here's the first one, Four B. So um, I mean I, I do like these though because it's it's pretty cool. So first we have um just these three fire bows because they're gonna so it's it, even though the, even though it's called fire bro hideout they're gonna we're, we're gonna be encountering hammer bros and boomerang bros eventually. So it, it's gonna it's gonna kind of be annoying but at the same time this is pretty easy for me. Like I could just take care of this no problem. But um yeah so there you go just took care of them just like that. That yeah, kind of sucks that I got I got peach right off the bat like even though I I said oh wait it's the um. Yeah, that's right. It's the Sprixie house. I, I, I don't know why I thought it was the Toad house. I could have swore it was a Toad house, but I guess not. All right. But yeah, it's like I, I even said I didn't I didn't want to be Peach for that um mystery house mad dash, but of course I got Peach. You, you guys saw, but yeah, there we go. And there's our um there's a third Sprixie princess we unlocked, we um we rescued last episode. It's like she's she's angry. But um yeah, and you guys remember um. I think it was last episode. Was it last episode, or maybe I think it was two episodes ago? I um I ta I was talking about um how each Sprixy print each Sprixy princess stamp has like different emotions and stuff. I always like that. All right, and now the moment you've all been waiting for, Spike's Lost City. Here we go. Oh, I'm not looking forward to this travesty. All right, so we're Luigi now. And you guys know I'm all about collecting green stars, of course. So. Even trying to collect the green stars is a pain in the ass. I think it's I think it's the second green star that I freaking hate trying to collect. So um yeah, of course you gotta deal with these um spikes here. Try and throw the um spikes at you and all that. Okay. Oh crap. Oh, jeez. I, th I thought I was gonna get hit like a few times there, like by those two spikes that were throwing the smaller um. Yeah. These spike guys. You guys remember I wanted to freaking I wanted to just hit tear these guys limb by limb or limb from limb whatever there's our first there's our stamp so but I really want to just um murder those guys in the um in New Super you definitely but um all right I'm gonna fix the line just a little bit all right that's a little bit all right I guess that's good all right oh of course this one coins just pop out like that all right at least I got to hear this good music again, because I always love this music. You guys got to hear this music before, um, last episode, 4 1 as well. But, um. I mean, the, the, this part's not all too bad, but. I'll show. Oh, yeah, we need to keep this, though. Okay. This this is where it's going to get. Oh, God. Nope. I can't lose this, please. Oh, yeah, I forgot. If you ground pound these guys, they're going to just. Yeah, I completely forgot about that. It's, yeah, because it's been a while since I killed the, the Goombas like that, the Galoombas. You like ground pound and then they just um like they just go flat like that like a regular Goomba. All right, I hate this right here because this is so tedious. It's all hell. Oh God. All right. Kind of scared right now. Let's see how he lost it. I right, think I got it back, but all right. Okay, luckily he throws that over you when you're right right here. All right, because now we have to go up here with the cat suit. We have to climb this. And go all the way up here. We have to we have to do all this. Yeah, we have to go all the way over here to get the green star. So there we go. Alright, I'm getting notifications. But um I, I just I just noticed like a giant white um line on from the from my phone, of course. I always hate that crap. It, it's from Twitter. it's a it's a Twitter notification, so it's it's just nothing. But um there's a Oh we missed the first green star? Where the heck did I miss it at? whatever we'll have to go back and get it but i mean luckily i got that second green star but geez i, I could have swore i was getting everything on track i somehow just completely forgot oh wait i think i remember where it was i think yeah yeah i remember now i uh, all right we'll have to go back and get it but i mean at least we took care of that the second green star is always the toughest to get in this level but luckily we took care of it just like that 
All right, so that should be about it. And um, yeah. So now you'll see um, yeah. There we go. I got that stamp there. Yeah, I somehow beat that on my first try. I, I just managed to blaze through that too. Cause usually I would struggle in that a little bit, but I mean, I mean that level's not always too difficult though. It, Cause you guys, it may have sound like I, I was dreading this level like this entire game, but it's that's this is this is not even the worst level. There's there's levels a lot wor there's like so many levels a lot worse than this so for those who were really struggling on this level um just be prepared that this game's getting this this game's getting a lot harder though so but um yeah we're not doing that um slot machine thing right now so or whatever it is so let's go and go back in spikes lost city and get that first green star i would just pause it but you know what might just go back all right now we're towed finally it's like the first time i'm towed this episode it's like this. It, it feels like this game doesn't even want me to be towed, to be honest. I don't know. It's like it, it, that's what it feels like. All right, and I believe the first green star should be like, yeah. I miss. How did? I, how the hell did I miss this pipe? It was right here. Usually I would not miss this, but look at this. Yeah, I, I love this right here. And and you know this stage mostly reminds me of um, it's that one level in Sonic 3D. Was it Sonic um, 3D Blast? What the heck? I almost forgot the name. But yeah, like this part right here really makes really um reminds me of the of the game. But like this stage, this stage itself does remind me of Sonic 3 3D Blast. I don't know why it feels like I've I've Sonic Lost World on the mind too. But there you go, you can kill him like that. So obviously you can kill him both ways. You guys know I I always kill him. When, I always have him like you know I whenever I jump on them I um kick them and then I, and then they just yeah. I jump on them and kick them. That's the way, that's the way I like to kill them, though. But I mean, ground pounding them also works too. All right, if I die, um, I'll pause it until I beat the level, or I'll, I'll just pause it until um. So I was gonna just pause it after I got that first green star and until we got back to the world map. But you know what? Well, let's see. Let's see if we can um do this without um. All right, I died. So I'll see you guys when we're back at the world map. All right, guys, back at the world map now. So um, yeah, I was really struck. I was kind of struggling a little bit because I almost died again, but um. Luckily, I, bar I barely made it out of there alive. As you guys can see, I'm short-toed, of course. So, um... But yeah, I was, I was gonna pause it. You guys you guys heard... I was gonna pause it, like, after I got that first green star and, until we're back here, but... I was like, you know, might as well keep going unless I die, which, of course, yeah. Alright, so, of course, we need 50 green stars to, um, to unlock this. But look at this. We have, like, double that. More than double that a little bit. So that's how you 100% the game. But, um, there you go. So now we opened up... The fourth castle, Lava Rock Lair. So yeah, this is where we get to go back inside the castle. For the first time since World 1, we get to go back inside the castle. You guys, guys remember World 2, we had to go deal with the tanks, all that, the barricades. Or, was it barricade? I don't know. But, um, yeah, so here we go. I always like this music here, too. So yeah, we got all this lava now. I think this is our first lava stage that we're running into as well. Okay, the, um, hang on. This, oh freaking uh brightness i'm gonna i'm just gonna turn the lighting down a little bit all right that should be good oh, i didn't mean to turn the camera all right but yeah all you do all you do is just throw those guys in the oh no yeah yeah we had to deal with, yeah we had to deal with those guys last episode obviously and you guys saw um we had we had to go and like throw these guys in the lava last episode anyway so but yeah now we now we have a whole level dedicated to these guys oh wait okay no no we need we need this guy hold on thank god they respawn right here if you throw them in the lava so um yeah i'm getting a little i'm getting a little i'm distracted god dang it see i am kind of distracted all right let me try this again if, if he falls in the lava one more time i'll pause until i get him on oh if i died i was gonna just pause it all right but um just gotta throw him on the piece the piece switch here and then there you go there's our first green start no, get out of here i don't need you now all right so there you go that, that's our first green start just like that all right oh crap I mean, this is kind of annoying, but, um, I guess it's not too bad. Well, I like this right here. You get to go and collect green stars like this, too. Nope, god dang it. Okay, good. Alright. But yeah, it's, uh, I always like this, though. You get to pick up the rock and just throw them and all that. But I guess kind of, like, collecting the green stars can be a little bit annoying. And I like how the fireballs, like, do that when you go in the lava. So, it's cool. 
And it shows it shows where you are too. So we'll go in there. Um, I guess we can go in there now, should we? Or hold on. First, let's go up here. Cause I always I always remember this. I believe um yeah, there's a stamp. So there's our stamp right there. And then this should be our second green star. I can't remember if there's even a checkpoint. I don't think there is a checkpoint here. But um yeah, all you gotta do is just do this within a time limit. Just gotta do that, and then there you go. Alright. But um Yeah, and there's our oh yeah, yeah, I remember this. This green star kind of sucks. This last one. A little bit, but it's not too bad. All you gotta, all you gotta just do that, but like these these Goombas and this boulder, of course, they they're gonna really just get annoying here. Alright. And you'll see who the boss is. You, you guys will be surprised. A little bit. Because there there is there is um all these different types of bosses. You guys saw Histocrat. We're gonna be running into more bosses and stuff. Obviously, you guys remember Boom Boom and Pom Pom and all that. Yeah, here we go. We got this boulder guy. This this ki this the king of the boulders, basically. So here you go. So here's how you're supposed to beat him, though. He can be annoying just because these idiots keep getting in my way, and his some sometimes his attacks really just frustrate me too. But you gotta go and jump on these guys. Just throw them at him. You know, just do that. Do all that. But these. Oh my God! Like go away. Look at this crap. Oh man, I think I have to start over if I do die though. Alright, good. Hit him second time. And I guess you, and you can kind of see, like, I guess some of the rock, some of the mineral in him is gone. So you, I guess you can see more of the lava. Yeah, I think I noticed that. So. Alright, gotta keep getting away from it. Now he's gonna bring out his guys again. Alright, and. Uh, there we go. Good, and I barely, I barely, oh, I had the cat suit, this, oh my god, if I died from all that, that would have been bullshit. Alright, good. Jeez, I didn't even know I had the cat suit on me this, this entire time. I'm sure you guys were screaming at your phones or TV, or wherever you watch my videos on. I bet you guys were screaming at me saying that I, that I had the cat suit and just, just get the cat suit out. I apologize, guys, I completely forgot. Sometimes I can never pay attention to those, um those second items in there because you know it's so small you can't really see the uh you, you, it's not like right there because at least when you play like the 3ds version and all that you know you can see the item on the touch screen like that i don't know it's it's it, it just it just um it stands out more like that i even have trouble doing that kind of on the on the switch version so you got the boulder stamp and all that so there you go we rescued the fourth um sprexy princess just like that i mean overall not too bad though Somehow I'm not even struggling, jeez. I was expecting to struggle, but all right, gotta fix the lighting again. All right, so now she got she has a wrench this time because you guys saw the first three um princesses had a hammer. I kind of like that. I kind of like how the how those princesses had had the hammer, and then um these other Sprixy princesses have like um a wrench. The next the next Sprixy princess is gonna have that too, so. But yeah, now she built us another um, pipe that will take us to World Five. Oh yeah, I completely forgot to. Oh excuse me. Well, I'm not. Gonna, I'm not gonna show you guys yet, but yeah, because I I almost forgot. But World Four Two I mentioned last episode has a secret exit, so I guess we'll go there. Yeah, I'll show you guys that after we um actually make our way to World Five, so that way um you know we have to. I want to. I just want to activate the cutscene. That's all. So you know, show you guys the cutscene of the fifth Sprixy Princess. So here's World 5. So it looks pretty cool though. So there's the purple Sprixy Princess in that um, capture at that purple castle. So here you go. I always like this music too. Though. It's always pretty cool. You got some of these little bouncy mushrooms. So this is obviously like a beach theme. Which I always thought this was really cool. There's a, there's a lot more here than there was in uh, World 4 though. There's so much. There's so much in this world. I can't wait to show you guys. Um... All, everything about this world. There's a third um, cat and toad stage. So, um, but yeah, so we're not going to get started with this yet. World 5 1 Sunshine Seaside, which is, um, yeah, so we got the beat, we got another beach theme stage. Or, a, you know, a theme, you know, the theme stage that matches that, um, that fits with this world, you know. So, just to introduce us to World 5. But for now, I will catch you guys once we're back at 4 2 so I can show you guys the secret exit. 
All right, guys. So I was planning on pausing the video until I actually got to the part where we, where the secret exit is. But this level's been pissing me off for a little bit. I just died twice right before the checkpoint. So, and you guys remember last episode? This this level wasn't like too too annoying. But I hate these freaking prime plants. These these probably have to be one of my least favorite enemies in the entire game. Like, I, and I thought regular prime plants were bad. These guys could go to hell. Like, I really hate these prime plants. Like, I, I really do. These prime plants suck. This one right here is the worst. I was I ground pound him so he could go further back, but he didn't even go all the way back. Like, finally, luckily I have the freaking fire flower. Like, goddamn. All right, now I got the checkpoint. Like, jeez. That's what I was struggling on, like, of course. Yeah, I was kind of raging, too, off-camera, kind of. So, of course, I was... I had to be raging off camera, but I don't know why the, light, the lighting still looks bad, even though I could have swore I adjusted the lighting. But it's like the game—it's like, of course, my phone doesn't care. I don't know. All right, yeah, back up. Come on! I hate these prom plants. I really do. These prom plants could go to hell. Re they really—they really need to go to hell. All right. Oh yeah, we're gonna need the freaking cat suit too. And I. All right. I guess the, I guess we could try to do this with the super leaf, but I can't guarantee that. Alright, but let me go and adjust the lane, because apparently now... Alright, there we go, Jesus. Look at this, you have to go up here in order to do this. And we're gonna, we, we really need the cat suit for this too, so there's no way we can get up there. Oh my god, alright. I wasn't really prepared for this, so I apologize, but you know what? Wait. Okay, I, I could do this, let's see. You gotta, like, try to spin on this little tiny ass. Oh, my God. It's, like, so hard to do it. Look at this. And Toad's, like, flying all over the place. I was trying to land back on the... Oh, my God. Oh, my God. All right, I'm getting pissed. I am really I really am. Why am I getting pissed? The first actual rage in this playthrough is, is this shit. Look at this. And Toad just all of a sudden gets... All, like, come on. I can't, like, spin around without having to fall off. Look at this. Alright, I'm not trying to get too mad, but this is really horrendous. Oh my god. I'll, I'll just, I'll keep trying and then, I don't know. Alright guys, as much as I hated to do that, I had to give up, of course. So, um, if, and there's no toad houses anywhere, so, or no toad houses available, so I can't get a cat suit in order to go back to that level to get the, to show you guys the secret exit. And I was actually kind of, I actually rage quit a little bit trying to quit, because I, I feel so defeated, dude. Like, first off, I was trying to get past those damn prana plants. I kept dying a little bit right before the checkpoint. So all of a sudden, that level that level just says, fuck you. Fuck that level, dude. I hate that level so much. It wasn't really that annoying. I mean, it kind of was last episode, but like, God, oh my God. That level was, that level just fr fucking pissed me off now. I hate that shit. All right, well, I guess I'll have to keep moving on. And I guess eventually when I get the cats, I'll show you guys the secret exit. And I'll try not to lose it by those fucking prana plants. So for now, let's go and begin World 5-1. Um, oh yeah, sun, Sunshine Seaside. Alright, let's see who we get here. Alright, Luigi. Alright, I guess we'll go go to the beach after all that. You know, just to um, calm calm myself down. Because I did, I did rage quit a little bit. I was actually raging. It's, it's bullshit, because why has that got to be the first thing I rage on? Like, come on, dude. I was I was more expecting to rage on Spike's Lost City, but no. Of course, that's shit. It's stupid, because it's like, I, I would expect to rage on something in this game, or in a playthrough, pretty much in any any playthrough on my channel, I would expect to rage on something, but then somehow I just pull it, pull it off successfully. But then, um, when there's something I think I could I can actually show you guys... I somehow um just just struggle at it. Like you guys remember, I was trying to show you guys a special stage in Sonic Advance. I was thinking it'd be just straightforward, but no, it was it had to be a pain in the ass. It was, it's, it's stupid. So that's that's just what that's just what's bringing my piss to a boil. Like I I fucking hate that shit. Oh, man, I'm just I, I can't get over that fact, but I do love this level though because you get to like really explore here. God dang, I really want some one of those shells. I'm mostly hoping that I don't I don't get pissed too easily now after that crap, but because this this is this is a level that I really love, so because it's it's really cool though. I, you know, you get to explore here. It's it's more it's really all all about exploration, which is pretty cool. And you guys can see all these uh you know these sand goombas. All we got a giant sand Bowser, which 
I'm pretty sure it has a um, green star in there, so we gotta go and get that. All right, we already got all the five keys, but we're not gonna go. We're not gonna um, continue just yet. Yeah, I believe um I believe all the green stars are here, but you'll fight. Oh wait, oh oh no, it's the um that's right, it's the uh. God damn it, fucking chug charging Chuck. Oh my god, of course. Get killed by his freaking muscular um no homo, but um Jesus Christ, dude. All right. I don't think there's anything over here though, but now I gotta do this all over again, of course. Now I'm just, now I'm just dying right now. It's, it's it's really pissing me off. All right, I forget where, how I got the first green star. I don't really know, but oh yeah, I forgot. oh holy crap, you can actually get up there like that, jeez. I never really tried it like that too much. Maybe maybe I did a few times, but it's like it's been a, it's been a while though. All right, I'll take that. My foot's getting numb, of course. All right. Oh, yeah, and we have to go in here too. I think this is where um one of these green stars is located, anyway. So yeah, I believe. Yeah. So here we go. I got one one of these again. So I'm gonna fix the lighting a little bit. So we're gonna adjust that. All right. Oh, now now it just looks bad. All right. Well, um. All right. You already know. Hey, I want, I want to actually show you guys real quick. Um, here's what here's what would happen if you stay in the shell for too long. Like, look at this. If you stay in it for too long, yeah, Luigi gets out and like he gets dizzy. Well, it happens. It happens for every character, but I always like that. Yep, so there we go. All right, and I believe that's that should be yeah. That's the second green star. All right. I forget where I got the first green star from. I wasn't paying attention, of course, but. All right, let me fix the lighting. I don't know. I thought the lighting looked worse, but and it's so this 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 stage is very very bright. Anyway, it's yeah. You guys know it's like a bright sunny summer. Um. Yeah. All right. All right. Now I'm not playing any more games. Screw you guys. All right. Of course. Of course. The, um. That shit. All right. God dang. Like I'd rather freaking get killed by Ray Lewis than you guys. Psych. All right, get that one up. There you go. Yeah, cause there's, there was a one up in there. I kind of spoiled it, but you know, it's not really that big of a deal. All right, and you can get rid of all these with the um with the boomerang too. Even this giant Bowser snow. Yeah, it's it's always always really cool. Oh yeah, yeah, we got the Goomba mask too. Yeah, here's the Goomba mask. So now they they don't even know it's me. Yeah, I think this is the first time yet you guys actually see this in this game. I mean, I mean, for those who watch my Mario Maker 2 series, you guys, you guys seen this before, but for those who don't, don't really watch my series, yeah, you got the Goomba mask. You guys already saw what's, what's mostly all, I mean, for those who watch my Mario Maker 2 series, you guys already see what's, all, what, um, what this game is kind of all about anyway, but, you yeah. know. Alright, there we go. So we saved, um, Captain Toad there. So where the heck did I find this first green star at? Like, I somehow got it. While I was ranting, ranting a little bit, and now all of a sudden I can't figure out where it is now. It's gotta be in that Goomba, right? Yeah, of course. All right, all right. Now we get to move on. God damn it! I'm sick of these Koopas too. There's so many enemies. It's getting annoying. All right, I believe. Wait, is it? Oh wait, hold on. Yeah, right over here. All right, but you think that's the end of the level, right? No, there's a checkpoint. But the, but the, there's there's not too much left in this level. Just just all you have to do is just ride Plessy. That's it. So the second time we're gonna um we um we ran to Plessy now. This always looks really cool though too. We got these guys again. Gotta get on this. You know, it's not too bad though. All you gotta do is just keep going this way. But um, yeah, it's pretty straightforward. Just a little challenging with you know moving platforms, but at the same time it's it's pretty tolerable. And then here's the stamp. All right, let's see if I can get it. And good, okay. I, f I had a feeling I was gonna fail somehow, but thank God I didn't. All right, um, we're at 29 minutes, so um, yeah. Dang, I'm surprised we only did the first level of this um of World Five. I was expecting to do most of this world, but of course, I I, I spent more on I spent more on more time on World Four than I expected anyway. So, all right, and good top the flagpole. All right, 
Oh, geez. Of course, struggling on the first level world five anyway, so of course it's gotta be bull crap. All right, so there we go, finally. Jeez, that took a lot longer than expected. Oh, I like that stamp right there. You get to kick the Koopa shell out of the, kick the Koopa out of his shell. I would, I always have fun with that stamp too. Whenever I made the, you know, the me verse post, you know. I mean, a lot of you who never really use the Wii U don't understand, but oh my God, world that level right there, World Five Two. I think that's World Five Two, right? Let me see. This level, I. Oh my goodness. That level, that level, actually, I think that's, I think this is where our first, like, really, I don't know. Well, not, not really huge rage, but this level really pisses me off. I hate this level. And you know what the worst part about this level is? Trying to get top the flagpole. It, yeah, it, yeah, you, yeah, you heard that. So, the freaking, um, these, these swinging things, you'll, you'll see, but, um, I guess we'll do that after we do Cat and Toad here. Cat and Toad plays Peekaboo, or... You know, no, let's let's just get this out of the way first. You know, why not? I just want I want I want to show you guys. So, my tricky trapeze theater. I mean, I do like this level just because you know how how it looks and everything. It looks beautiful, and I like how it actually works like this too. But these swinging things, honestly, they they just they they do piss me off. Oh, and on top of that, we got these guys. So we gotta go and deal with these guys at the same time. All right, I was gonna I was gonna go and um fix the lighting, but. All right. Oh, I think I, yep. There's an ape at Luigi. I don't know if you guys saw it, but he he was he was coming out of that um um question block when, whenever I was getting those coins. Oh, you gotta time this just right. Yeah, see you guys saw that. Cause if we if we were to um do that while while those those guys were you know uh, electrocuting the ground like that um we would have got hit. All right. So there's some secret clouds right here. Gotta go up here, and then there's our first green star just like that. All right, all right. We gotta time this too. It's all about timing. It really, it really is. It really sucks. All right, but that's all there is to it for the first part. Now the second part. Look at this. Look at all these prana plants. Yeah, this. I mean, this kind of looks intimidating. This still sucks even when you have the mega mushroom. Yep, you get the mega mushroom for this. So luckily, um, luckily they do give you mercy here. You got all these giant prom plants, you got you know little prom plants, all that type of stuff. Like it's ridiculous. And then once you kill all these prom plants, you get all these coins right here. I always like doing that though. Alright. And then we go over here. Yeah, because if you go over here, um this yeah, yeah, you get the second green star. Alright. Go and get ourselves all these coins here. You know, just gotta do all that. I mean, this is pretty easy, though. It's not too difficult, but... You'll see where the real difficult part comes in, though. And, of course, getting top of the flagpole is where it's at. But, um... Yeah, oh, yeah, the last the last green star, that's right. The last green star really sucks. Oh, god dang, a freaking bump to a wall. But, seriously, the last green star... That one really sucks, too. Because, I, I guess it's like... Hold on, you'll see... So basically, I guess you have to like, it's kind of like this. Hold on. So here's the here's the deal, right? You'll see, you'll see what I'm talking about. But right up there, um, you guys kind of saw there's Captain Toad. He has, oh, what the hell! Right off the bat, right off the bat, already dying like that. Are you kidding me? All right, well, um, oh yeah, look at this. The, the prom plants are moving like that when I when I um when I'm still talking. All right, you know, we'll do this again, I guess. Um, I'll show you guys this off cam- I mean, on camera again. And then I'll just pause it when getting the second green star. And, I, and, I'm, and just so you guys know, I'm, I'm still I'm still happy I decided to choose the Wii U version. Because at least I get to just go and collect these green stars again. Because if this were the Switch version, I would I could just go- I, I could just keep going this way. But, you, you know, you know, you guys already know I'm all about challenge. So, just going to go in here and, um... You know, I'm just going to stand right here, pause the video, and I'll catch you guys once we're um, back out here again. Alright guys, back out here. You guys see I have the second green star now, so let's go keep moving. But, um, yeah, so back to what I was saying. Um, yeah, so it's like, I, yeah, so you have Ken Toad up there with the, um, he has like, um, you know, the item, it, you know, that random, that randomized, you know, that random item block where you get, you get a random item. You have to either choose that or choose... 
Look, see, you, you, already, you already selected this, so you have to go and collect these green stars. That's pretty much what it is, and then, and then all of a sudden, you're, you're already over here. I really don't want to have to risk this. Alright, screw it. Oh, that... Okay, is this... Is, I don't know if this is a good idea. Oh, I'm scared. Ooh, okay, okay, we're, we're good. Okay. I guess... I don't, I don't know if I should be... Okay, thank god. I was, about, I, I, I was just about to just pause the video in a heartbeat. Right, let's try this again. God damn. Alright. Of course, because it, it, it also depends on how, where you're, where you're, um, because of course, you know, this is a 3D Mario game, so it always depends on where you're at. Oh, come on, look at the time limit. Let's see, here we go. So, let's see if we can get the cat suit or something. Oh, really? A f Give me another mushroom, are you kidding me? Out of all the items you have in there, why a mushroom? Of course. I hate that shit, where, where you get, um, where you get a random item and then all of a sudden they give you a mushroom instead. It's the worst. Because now... Here's the worst part of the level. Trying to get top the flagpole. We got this big ass swing. Oh, I almost barely missed that too. You have to try to get up there, but look at this. See? It's 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 hard. It's not it's not easy trying to get top the flagpole. It really isn't. No, no matter how hard you try, even if you have the tanuki suit, it's not gonna do much either. So the best option is to get the cat suit. It really is. So, um, and I don't think I usually, I don't think I really get the cat suit at that, um, where Cat Toad is. I think what I do is that I go and, um, I think I get it, yeah, I think I got it at the next level or something, wherever level. It's just like when I, when I beat, um, or no, when I got, when I went to that Toad house, I had to get the cat suit to get the last green star at Mount Mustache. But, um, oh man, this right here, dude. I have, I literally have everything. All I have to do is get top the flagpole, because you guys already know I have to get the gold flagpole. That, that's how it that's how it works i have to get not only i have to get all green stars and the stamp gotta get gold flag pulled too gotta get all that shit so um kind of sucks but all right i guess we'll have to move on for now and then we'll go back there later or wait no we're not gonna move on here though but i guess you guys can see look at this yeah backstreet bustle i like this level right here it's a it's a pretty short level but um i mean it's right 37 oh my god no we're, we're, we'll do this next episode so I mean, you guys get to see what this level is, so. But, um, yeah, Backstreet Bustle, um, this is another level where you need a specific character to get a stamp, so. You guys remember, um, you know, we need Mario and Peach to get a stamp. Um, you'll see who we need to get a stamp here, so. I'm not gonna reveal it this episode, I'll just reveal it next episode. But, um, that's gonna pretty much be a wrap for this episode, so, like, thank you all for watching. Be sure to check out my other videos, and in the next episode... We're, I guess we'll just we'll go and start off at the at the Cat and Toad stage because you guys see you guys were noticing I'm, I've been I've been trying to skip this but yeah I, I almost forgot I, I was about to just move on to this level but obviously we're at 38 minutes so we don't have really much time anymore so Cat and Toad plays Peekaboo we'll start off with that and then um we'll we'll just move on to Backstreet Bustle and then um at some point we'll go back here and get top the flagpole the gold flagpole because of course. And this is exactly why I was dreading in this level. Just trying to get top of the flagpole. It's the, it's the worst. I hate it. So. It, it, you, you pretty much need the cat suit. There's no other option. There's no other... Even trying to use Peach, it's not easy. Like, when you, when you have to have her float. Like, come on. So, I don't know. But, um, for now, I'll just end it off here. And, um, after you take care of all this... I guess it depends on if I get... Whenever I get the cat suit, I can go back over here, but... For now, we're just going to focus on completing these. Do the cat and toad there. Um, 5-3. Um, and then, Oh yeah, there's a toad house right there. So we can get the cat suit there. So after that, we can probably just go back to this level. And then we can go and take on Charging Chuck again. Charging Chuck blockade is back. So yeah, there it is. You guys, you guys remember, um, we had to deal with him in World 1. So. Alright, but overall, pretty, pretty, um, pretty big episode a little bit. I mean, not as big as the last episode. I mean, all we had to do is just... You know, we did the Mystery House Mad Dash. We did um, Spike's Lost City, which I thought was going to be a nightmare, to be honest. But somehow it wasn't too bad. Did the castle um, on my first try without dying, and I nearly died at the end, but... Oh, crap. But, um... I mean, overall, not too bad. The worst part, of course, was trying to show you guys the secret exit for 4-2. I guess I'll try to show you guys that again next episode, but we'll see. Yeah, you, maybe maybe I could do that after I um, get top... The gold flagpole because I'll, I'll have the cat suit so maybe we could kill two birds with one stone next episode but we'll see 
So either way, um, I'll see y'all next time, guys. Um, I'll figure out what other videos I can do for you guys. But, um, maybe there will be a video tomorrow. I'm not quite sure, but if not, then stay tuned for some other videos this Saturday or Sunday, you know, this weekend. And obviously, you know, I'll be back with this episode on Friday. So with another episode of this on Friday. So either way, be sure, be sure to, be sure to subscribe on the videos. I keep, I can't keep, all right, be sure to subscribe for like the videos. And if you enjoy this episode, be sure to hit that like button. I, I really apologize for all that sputtering and stuttering and all that crap. Every time I try to say that closing. All right, anyways, my nose is kind of bugging me a little bit. So I'm going to just end this off here, blow my nose, and um, that's it. So everyone stay safe and have a great rest of your day. And I'll see you all next time, guys. Thanks for watching.